Hello Virgo, this is your top secret cross watchers video. We are here today to take a look at your sun, moon, rising in Venus, your partner's thoughts, feelings, intentions, wishes, and whatever it is that's hiding beneath the surface in their subconscious about your relationship. So when we look at your person, Virgo, we see someone who is very much feeling very sad your person feels as though their emotions have gone unfulfilled and that this person's actually kicking in you know kicking over cups the cups here they're they're not very happy you can see that the countenance of this person is sadness but somebody who is accepting somebody who's accepting the situation for what it is your person feels as though virgo this is your card your person feels as though they would absolutely have loved to have made a legacy relationship with you. Ten of Pentacles energy right there. We see somebody who would love to have a family with you, who would love to have dogs, a house, kids, legacy careers, and they would like to share that with you. Nothing could be better than that. It's not only happily ever after, it's legacy relationship in which you build enough wealth and enough, enough comfort in your lives together to really create a firm foundation for everyone in the family. You know, everyone gets the proper care, nourishment, and um, everything that they need pretty much. The Queen of Pentacles energy says that your person is a very a nurturing person. This person's very practical, down to earth. It is Capricorn energy. Your person may have Mars in Capricorn, but they have a Capricorn placement pl somewhere that makes them very grounded. You know, Capricorn is ruled by the planet Saturn. So a hard, realistic viewpoint of what it takes to make love work. They love you. They love you, love you, love you. Um, we have the death card here, how they view you. They view you as a person who is very enlightened, who is very beautiful, Virgo, who understands what has to happen for the two of you to come together. Scorpio energy. We have the Three of Swords card that indicates that your person is heartbroken without you. They grieve every day without you. They have cried many tears without you. But there is an understanding and an acceptance of the situation and that you absolutely have the right to make whatever decision you need to make. The Ten of Swords says that they don't really feel as though you've stabbed them in the back. What they do feel is though is that this is not the right timing. You know, they're not laying on the ground with Ten Swords in the back. They're using, these crows are sending them a message, leave, you know, leave before this gets more painful walk away this person doesn't have they don't see you virgo as a person who is at a point in your life where you can really walk away you don't feel comfortable walking away you have responsibilities this beautiful of uh, you know this beautiful capricorn queen encourages you actually to follow your responsibilities even if they have to sacrifice love they see that as something that sometimes is necessary in life they have a lot of wisdom What's hidden here is that they would love to see you, meet with you, make plans with you, have a future with you. But it also implies that for those of you who have a children, there's a little bit of a wish fulfillment or a wish, a desire, a hidden desire in this person that say if you had teenage children or children who are nine or 10 or whatever, that maybe if you were ever to split up with your spouse, or your significant other with whom you're you're living with that you would seek them out that would you would approach them with a relationship offer we have the moon card here spirit says that there's a lot that's unknown right now virgo that your person is is really at this place of feeling depressed feeling six feet under the water feeling as though the moon is crying out their subconscious mind is really pulling at them but spirit is telling them don't worry don't panic you're fine you'll be okay and the message of spirit to you Virgo is simply that you have to understand that this person is willing to sacrifice themselves for to stay on the right side of good so we have the the black wolf and the white wolf and obviously either one can be good or bad but it really says that this person is willing to 
sacrifice again Piscean energy 12th house secretive energy that they are really willing to let it go and even though it makes them feel depressed they're willing to let the relationship go because it's what's wise and here we have the beautiful king of swords that's like a surgeon who's going to be your healer take care of you heal you but has the intellectual capacity not to cry in the middle of surgery when they're cutting you open you know i always like to use that example even though it's a little bit graphic but it really is that this person the person that you love the person you came to ask about has the intellectual capacity to be enlightened this is aquarius energy it's the age of aquarius you know we always talk about the enlightenment and they have the strength to do it they have leo and aquarius energy somehow in their chart sun moon rising or venus or very prominently placed in their chart of astrology. So it really says that they love you, they have passion for you. This is a soulmate card of infinity. I know a lot of readers don't read this as a soulmate card, but the longer I read, the more that I feel that this person will love you forever. The infinity sign, the infinity sign tattooed on her forearm tells me that this person will always love you. They will always respect the fact that you made the choice you thought you had to make. So Virgo, that is beautiful energy. Now, when we look at this person and what's underlying, this is the most beautiful shadow reading I've ever gotten to do. Your person is a star seed. They are light years ahead of everybody else. This is a card, if you think that the strength card and the, the, these two cards are very earthly, they're very kind of right now, they have this energy. But the star seed energy is that you probably, they, they're almost as though they're from another planet. They do not get caught up in the same sort of repetitive patterns a lot of other people do. The reason they don't is that they've ascended to a different level up from the earthly plane into the the level of like jupiterian goodness because they've released their karma this person has looked at their inner demons they've come through that dark soul of the night a dark night of the soul sorry um and they now are this star seed energy it's almost as if they're from another planet it's almost hard to fathom that but i will say this this is very much like magician energy also Look at that. That's one really cool cat. <laughs> you have to love this person. I think most people that know this person love them. Um, I think they're, they're very much someone who other people go to for help. Look at this, Ace of Cups. They love you, love you, love you, love you. You will always be in their heart space. You, they spill over. Their heart runneth over with love for you, Virgo. Really gorgeous. Here we have this beautiful Queen of Pentacles energy here, the wisdom. This is their grounded energy. They may have a really earth strong in their chart, strongly in their chart. Same card, different decks. This person loves you. They want to nurture you. They will sacrifice like a mother does for a child. They will sacrifice their needs on the earthly plane because they can take care of those needs themselves. They will sacrifice they will sacrifice what they need to just as if you were a beloved child. They love you that much. It's unconditional. It's a love that's unconditional, and it's quite beautiful. The energy that they have that is masculine here is this beautiful King of Wands energy. When we see the antlers that are so huge, this is a very wise person. The more antlers, the bigger the antlers, the longer life. I believe this is an elk that the elk has lived and we see a we see a beautiful dream catcher this person's psychic and these beautiful little feathers of accomplishment this person those feathers um, represent love and balance and like a feather in your cap you've earned a feather in your cap they've earned their way they have earned their way into this magical space of a passionate commitment to life to live authentically so they accept situations as they are in their heart space they're never going to ever stop loving you the waterfall look at this energy that's how they see the two of you the little birdie sitting on your head the flowers the roses the feminine the masculine beautifully balanced 
the koi pond, the fishes, the birdies, the sweetness. This is a lifelong love. This is with the strength card. It's a love through time and infinity and space. You know, we have space here. So the overall advice from spirit for you, Virgo, is time to let go do what's needed just do what's needed you know you're not expected to do anything else your partner sees you as being this energy that you're willing to do the work that you have to do you're willing to fulfill obligations wherever they are we have bring a gentle touch you know virgo really have appreciation for this person be very gentle with them and ultimately long term make your own dreams a reality so that's what this person understands is that you have your own life to fulfill and if you need to fulfill dreams that you have for raising children with a, f a firm foundation or whatever it is that you're dreaming of, this person is absolutely brilliant and enlightened enough to see it through and to understand it. Doesn't mean they're comfortable, no, heck no. You know, it's, it's heartbreaking. There are days that they just, you know, they've cried, but they accept that they can't have what they want until you do your transformational process and become free if and when that happens. Um, they, are, they would always be open to talking to you. You could see them 30 years from now and no matter what has happened in your life, they would be thrilled to see you. They would be happy. They would find the beauty of the smile in your face. So Virgo, sending you love from Chicago. Mwah! Send some back and tell me where you're from.